weekend my people thank you so much for clicking in guys look at me the queen of the streets yes i am back after the biggest expose on this street see i've just come back glittering glittering shining shining mm -hmm. can you please rate me out of 10 what do you think <laughs> thank you so much for clicking in coming in to support am carol channels thank you guys thank you lazy gang members for always believing in me keyboard reactors you are the best you guys i just love you to the moon and back 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 thank you so much my new subscribers you're welcome feel at home returning subscribers welcome feel at home i know returning subscribers are the people that you always disagree agree we agree we disagree <laughs> but by the end of the day you know what you are welcome on this platform on this am carol's channel you are welcome let's analyze together let's criticize together let's expose them you know let's agree and disagree sometimes let us even learn from them or let them learn from us i mean why not guys so today i've been checking this our king you know the founder of lazy gang members <laughs> I call him king because, you know, we are going to see a lot of things manifesting on these streets. From the month of November, not actually November, it should have been, eh? it should be, it should be September, around September when he's coming back. Hi, the dusty streets of Nyabahonze, there'll be fire, 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 fire. Anyway, you know, when he sits down, he starts talking about things, hmm? trying to throw the wisdom out from his mouth will be like checking him. We have to take our time. We have to give this man all the attention. Because you know what, guys? We are the ones who are supporting this man, making his channel grow. And he knows that, and he's accepting it. And for that reason, us, the bad reactors, as he calls us, we sit here and start listening to his wisdom. The things that he's saying, we need to analyze this our big fish now. What else? This is our big fish. We need to analyze him. So we need to be listening to him clearly. Sometimes we listen to him repeatedly. We need to come out some points from what he's saying. And that is why we have to sit here, the bad reactors, and listen to him very clearly to understand him before now we sit here with this, our ring light, and start talking about the issues that he's throwing out on the streets. We'll be disagreeing. Sometimes we agree, you know, sometimes we sympathize with him, sometimes we applaud him, by the way, and sometimes we wish him all the best. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marwa Frederick is the man that we are talking about, the founder of the Lazy Gang members. Without him, we wouldn't be here. So Marwa is talking on his life and definitely all the time when he sits down, he has to talk about us. He has to remember us. Now, let's start first with what he said about the Indian project. If you remember, guys, the Indian project, we are still talking about this thing. This is the thing that actually brought all the problems that this name, Lazy Gang, came from this issue because we were talking about the accountability of that GoFundMe about this Indian. And we are still talking about it. And he knows that we are still waiting. If not, we will keep on reminding him, reminding him, but to me, it looks like uh, he's waking up a little bit. He's trying to understand a few things here. Otherwise, he wouldn't have talked about it, right? Okay, let's listen to Marwa talking about this project, what they're planning to do with the money that they collected from the GoFundMe about the Indian kids in India. Uh, I really have a plan also to go to India because I have a project with the kids there. If it will be very difficult, I want to ensure that before this year ends, at least me and my brother Aaron Dante, we do something to the kids in India. There's money we donate, you guys donated. Uh, it's like 4,900 4, and something, close to 5,000 US. So it's either I bring these kids to Africa to visit uh, Africa, or I take this money to them. So we shall see which will, at the same time also, no pressure, we still have the money, it's there. So. And we can even take this money and pay school fees for one of the kids or two of the kids 
depending on how much the school fees is. So, yeah. Uh, and also remember, I need to go back home to keep building the house. We have the party in November. I always tell you, reaction is very powerful. Guys, reaction is very, very powerful. Without reaction, we wouldn't have been here, at least now. See, when reactors came out talking about this issue, about the Indian issue, the people who are collecting money for this, uh, for this project, they wouldn't have known actually what was happening with Marwa. We are not even sure how many projects that has been collecting money without the reactors following up that, you know, it has never manifested. In this case, this Indian issue was very loud on this street. It was very loud. And in every videos, most of the videos that we usually come out as reactors, we keep on reminding Marwa about these Indian kids. We keep on reacting. We keep on asking. You know, this has ended up people calling him a scammer. Yes, it has ended up people calling him a scammer because they collected money and we don't see what they're doing with the money. The issue about going back to India to bring these children from India, it was a little bit controversial. People have been thinking, people have been talking, not even thinking. People have been talking about it. Which parent will just allow their kids to live and go to a different continent with a stranger? What kind of idea is that? How can that happen? Even at the immigration, who will leave these young kids I mean, the teenagers, they're not really young. They were teenagers. Who will leave these teenagers to be leaving the country to a different continent with someone who is a stranger? You know, that issue was very controversial. Actually, we felt like Mara was really lying. And that is why they got this money, you know, from the GoFundMe. How can that happen? Who will allow their kids to be tra traveling all over the place with just strangers? You know, it's so insane. It's so insane. That idea, that project was not even making sense at all, at all, at all. That is why when he all started calling for money for this project, people were like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> you know, Marwa, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen for God's sake. I mean, how? If you want to help someone, help the person where she is, where he is. These people, they might be having problems back there at home, you know? But you, you are thinking of bringing them to Africa to do what? And then what? So what? You know, it, it was not really making sense. Now, I think Marwa have been listening to reactors. Hey, guys, power of reaction. Marwa has been listening to reactors. And I think they've come out with a way of doing this thing. Since now, the money is still there. Yeah? If the money is still there, although Arundante was telling us a different figure, Marwa is telling us a different figure, but by the end of the day, they are saying that the money is there. If the money is there, why can this money go to do something important in this, in this children's life? So Marwa has been figuring out and now he's telling us. I'm just hoping that this is the truth. I hope that he's not just playing around with people's minds. Because this is the thing that we've been looking forward to. He has to go back there. Check with these kids and their families. Try to understand what these children need. If it is school fees, if it's something or a project to, for, their, for, their, for their parents to start so that they can be helping them, whichever way. But by the end of the day, this money has to be done what, guys? This money has to be taken back to these children. This money belongs to those children. The people who donated that money, it was strictly for those children. So when I see Marwa talking like this, I feel like, mm-hmm, power of reaction. Power of reaction. Whether they call us good or bad reaction by the end of the day, you see the fruits of reaction, guys. Mm -hmm. There's an issue again that Marwa has talked about. Here, he's talking about credit cards. Marwa is saying that credit cards are not used where he comes from. It's an American idea. Where he comes from, people don't use credit credit cards. Listen to this, guys. Um, credit cards are 
safest way to travel? No. Cash. Cash. I, you know, I don't have a credit card. That's the funny thing. I've never traveled using a credit card. Credit card is a system in America that people believe in it. But where I'm from, people don't use credit card. If you're poor, you're poor. You can't, if you can't, you don't have money to spend, then there's no spending. You know, the thing I don't like about credit card is, is they trick you to use money that you don't have. So you have to work hard to pay back. So that's why I don't. Watching from Arizona. Okay. Hey, guys, listen to Marwa very well. Marwa, if you don't have a credit card, you don't have a credit card. If you don't have a credit card, you don't have a credit card. Don't come out here and tell people that where you're from, people don't use credit cards. Hey! Now, let me go back to this issue that I always complain about. I complain about Marwa going out there to, to represent us as Kenyans. What is he saying? Is he saying that Kenyans who don't have credit cards? We don't have... Hey, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord have mercy. Marwa, if you don't have a credit, I have even a wallet for credit cards. A wallet for it. If you don't have a credit, if you don't have this card, you don't have it. Hey, that is one, guys. Hey. The second one, this is the old one. I've just taken a different one from a different bank. Hey, Maro, what are you talking about? I'm a Kenyan, eh? I'm a Kenyan. I have to prove to you what Marwa is telling you people is not true. I don't, I don't understand why people like lying. This is another one. Okay, it looks like the other one. So people might think, ah, this one is for an international bank, actually. This one is for a Kenyan bank. And then I have this one is also for a Kenyan bank. Three. Who am I? Am I not a Kenyan who is using the, the, the cards? Am I not a Kenyan who is using the credit card? It's an American idea so that you, 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 you know, you have to work hard for. Why not work hard? Why not work hard? Why not work hard? What is this for? You need the money. You have to work hard. You need these cards. You know, if you don't need it, then don't say that the people where I come from, they don't use them. If you, you don't want to use them, just don't use them. Make it personal. Don't drag this whole idea to, to the Kenyans. There are Kenyans who have even stronger cards than the ones I have. I've seen them. Hey, that one I just had to come out and disagree with Marwa. Please, Marwa, say the truth. If you don't know, say you don't know. Just talk about you yourself and how you know yourself. Marwa doesn't use banks. Is that what he's saying? So where is his revenue going to? How does he remove his money to start with? How, how, is, how can you operate without these cards, guys? I don't understand what Marwa is saying. What system does he use? This our old boy. Old school stuff. Marwa, you need to grow. Marwa, you need to have friends and learn from the friends. Instead, you have chosen to be alone. You don't want to have friends around you. Friends who are coming up, new technology is coming up, new stuff is coming up. You know, stop doing things the old way. You don't know where you are going wrong. You can never know where you are going wrong if you don't learn from other people as well, from other travelers as well. But the wrong thing here is that every time Marwa has a friend, they will end up colliding. Every friend that he has always had, they will, you know, they will turn out to be enemies. I don't understand how you can travel the world without cards. I mean, how, how, I don't understand. I really don't understand, guys. Maybe if there's a way, if you people you understand what system Marwa is using, kindly let me know in the comment section because I'm really trying to understand. How does Marwa operate? Has he ever shared this with you? Maybe I missed something somewhere. Kindly let me know. There's an, another issue also that Marwa talked about. Hey, 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 Marwa. Marwa is talking about Africans fighting Africans. 
these Africans that are fighting with other Africans, they are not exposed. Mm -hmm. You see here in Brazil, I have seen big uh, houses and everything and everything. But if you are not exposed, if you see someone with a big house, you become so envious. Mm -hmm. You become so this. So Marwa thinks that everyone who is talking about him, they're envious of his house. <laughs> He's always getting it wrong, like all the time. This one is something that Maro is always getting wrong. We have come out here explaining to Marwa about these things. We have seen mansions. We have seen houses. We have seen things and we've, we have done stuff. Marwa thinks that he's the only person who has that mansion. Just because in the heart of the village there's that mansion over there. He thinks that he's the only person. Marwa, my friend, come back to Kenya. Come back to Kenya and visit boys. Boys have done things here in Kenya. Ha! Boys have built mansions in Kenya. Even right there in Yabahonse, as I was saying in my previous uh, live video, people have built houses that people don't show us in Yabahonse. I saw many mansions. In fact, there, there was an estate near the road. This estate, I think, people came to buy from there. Some people from outside Nyabahons, they came to buy those places and they built very, very nice houses with gated compounds and cameras all over the place. I saw them. I was in Nyabahons. I saw them. And Maro is still bragging uh, about this other house, the one that is in the heart of the village, a place where we don't even know if electricity is already, it's already there. A place that we don't even know if water will be running in the house. Hmm? We don't know even if the people who will be coming, they'll be taking showers in the river. People have mansions. Maro should come back home and check on the real boys in Kenya. We have people in Kenya. We have engineers, doctors. We have men who really count the money. Men who really have... Hey, Marwa, Jalango is your friend. Come and check what Jalango has done. You cannot compare yourself even with Jalango. And he's been getting his money in Kenya. Not even abroad. Our boys are out here doing great things. Marwa, stop this issue of thinking that, oh, my, my mansion, people are jealous about my mansion. People, we have done things, Marwa. Stop it. Hey, see Marwa. Guys, <laughs> Let me move to the bad reactors and the good reactor story. Listen to this first, guys. Before I leave this live stream, let me say this. Even if you are a good reactor talking about me, okay? Let's say you talk about Marwa, like Marwa did this today. I don't want negative reaction, you reacting on negative reaction. I will unsubscribe from your channel because I don't want that type of energy because think of this i don't watch negative people talking about me like oh maro got kicked out of uh, friend's house then you come on the channel i've subscribed and you're saying oh maro was never kicked out like countering that no i will unsubscribe i'm sorry but i will unsubscribe because it's lies you are either promoting those lies indirectly uh look at my video see a positive thing you like you can react where uh, from it uh, because uh, it is better you know so and even the funny thing is this my host contacted me the last host he contacted me saying the guy from washington dc was contacting him was trying to reach out to him <laughs> Those people are obsessed. They are sick. They need help. They need therapy. They should go and, and, and find help. That's crazy. Imagine. He called me the other day and telling, telling me, Marwa, it's good. I have to inform you. Like the guy, he's trying to contact me. I was like, oh. I told him, bro, all he wants is to divide me and you. That's all he can do. I swear before God, God is my witness. I'm not lying. I've never lied. And why would I lie? You know? So the best thing is to ignore them. 
ignore them, let's do our thing, let them watch on TV. I know they are disparate of views, they are disparate of everything, they are obsessed, you know, they are, you know, when you dwell yourself in, you know, this is the funny thing about human behavior. If you do something over and over and over and over, it becomes part of you. So that's why I don't know. Uh, I'm asking even my reactors, those guys who react on my videos, who are like supporting me, and some of them have subscribed to your channel. Please stop reacting on fake news. You you know it's fake. Why are you reacting on it? Leave it alone. Otherwise, I will have I will have to unsubscribe from your channel and just focus on my lane. Because I know one day people ask me, Maro, how did you do it to be this guy? It's simple because I ignored everybody and I did my thing. So learn to ignore people. It's very important. Okay. <laughs> You've had it from our own, from our own founder of Lazy Gang members. You've heard him. Miss Baki Baki, have you heard what Marwa said? He's not happy with your content. <laughs> that is not supporting Marwa in any way. That your content is not supporting Marwa in any way. He's not getting it out. He's not getting anything out of it. What you people are doing you're sitting there watching us, the bad reactors. Instead of going to watch Marwa, you are there watching us. It's not working for Marwa. Marwa wants you people to be watching him. Pick the good part from him. React on it. You said that you are the good reactors. Yeah? Positive reactors. Why are you always reacting on negative reactors like me? Why are you always reacting on a bad reactor like me? You want to react on Marwa, the big fish himself. You are calling yourself a Marwa's defense force. See what he has done to you. See how you think Marwa is stupid, he doesn't see. Eh, hey, Baki Baki, with the other South African Ngungalu. Eh? Hey? Have you heard what Marwa said? Instead of watching Marwa, be watching Marwa. Pick those good things and talk about it. Guys, Marwa said this, Marwa said that, we hail Marwa, Marwa is our king, let's support Marwa. That is what I call positive if you are to be positive because I did it before, by the way. I did that before, even before Marwa himself turned on Michele Ponte and brought his real, uh, he, he brought his real picture out here for me to start understanding him in a different light. I did that. You can go and check on my videos. I did positive reaction on Dimwango, David Jr., Marwa. I did that. I could come out and say, oh, guys, Marwa is doing this in the village. Visitors are coming there. That time when Christmas list was coming there, I was, those days I was doing positive reactions. I never called out any reactor. I was focusing on praising our boy, praising our boy. You know, that is positive. Go if you you see what guys, me, I will always teach you for free. Yes, let me just release this masterclass for free. Go and check this my videos. Let me leave them here. This is what we call positivity. Yes. Even the one that Dimwango did when he went to visit JB's parents. That was positivity. This is what Mara is talking about. Listen to him. Watch him, then come out with something that is positive. Start hailing him. Start praising him. That is the positivity that Maro wants. But you people are not doing that. Instead, what you are doing, it's like you are supporting the bad reactors as well. You are watching us all the time. Sometimes I feel so happy. When I'm starting my premiere, I'll be having over 50 people. You know, watching me. But only maybe two people will be talking to me on the premiere. Just in the beginning of the premiere, I'll be like, wow, who are these other 50? <laughs> who are these other 50? Hmm? By the time now, lazy gangs start coming in, coming in, coming in. Hey, Carol, hey, Carol, hey, Carol. Other 50 people are watching. All those ones, they're just waiting. What will Carol say? What is it that Carol is going to say? They're just there supporting me, supporting me. 
Mara is not happy about that. Mara wants you people to go and support him. Watch his videos. Listen to what he's saying. Because when you come out defending what I said, but you haven't heard what Marwa said, so what are you defending exactly? It's only that you're using his name to gain those views and he's not happy. He said what? He's going to unsubscribe from you. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Marwa says the good reactors and the bad reactors. Hmm? My reactors. That's what he said. My reactors. <laughs> eh? Marwa's defense force. You are defense force with no brains. You are going out here to be reacting and defending someone that you don't even watch. And he has noticed that. And he's telling you what to do. If you have the ears, listen to him very well. If you want to continue defending him, be defending him with receipts because Marwa is not stupid. He sees what the work that we are doing. We disagree with him. At the same time, we bring out the receipts. See, guys, this is what Marwa said. Marwa will be talking. Why can't you people also do the same? Say, guys, Marwa never said that. Marwa said this and this. Bring the receipts. Eh, hey. You are defending someone. Why can't you bring the evidence? What kind of defense is, is this one of coming out to be insulting people? Hey, you see, you see, now, now, now you cannot, it's so stupid. Very stupid woman. Very foolish woman. Ha, what kind of content is that? <laughs> At last, Maro has seen it. And now this Ivan's issue. I really don't understand Ivan, honestly. If it is true, Marwa is saying that, I swear before God, I swear before God. Listen to this, guys. Marwa swearing that Ivan really contacted that friend in Brazil. Even the funny thing is this. My host contacted me. The last host, he contacted me saying the guy from Washington, D.C. was contacting him was trying to reach out to him. <laughs> Those people are obsessed. They are sick. They need help. They need therapy. They should go and, and, and find help. That's crazy. Imagine. He called me the other day and telling, telling me, Marwa, it's good. I have to inform you. Like the guy, he's trying to contact me. I was like, oh. I told him, bro, uh, all he wants is to divide me and you. That's all he can do. I swear before God, God is my witness. I'm not lying. I've never lied. And why would I lie? You know? So guys, what exactly was Ivan looking for? Like seriously, if he's not even getting too much on this issue, what is the problem with these boys? What are they competing? Ivan went to Wodemaya the other day. You know, he was Talking, you know, he was talking about uh, Marwa indirectly. Yes, we knew, but he was talking about him. At some point, Marwa felt like, hey, this guy really wants to drag me down. Marwa decided to come up and say, ah, making a lot of noise out here. I don't understand why Ivan is also going again back to start, you know, talking to uh, Marwa's friend. What is it with Ivan? Honestly, I don't understand these boys. Hmm? Listen to Ayamaro himself saying, I don't understand when these Africans are fighting Africans. It's because they are not exposed. Now, in Ivan's case, how can we call that one? That Ivan is not exposed enough? And that is why he's fighting Marwa? What is it that he wants from that space? Hmm? And by the time Ivan was calling that man, Marwa was already out of that house. So we really don't know what he wanted to tell that man. And that guy is very clever. Hey, Ian is clever. He, I think this guy has been watching Maro. He's been following everything that people are talking about on the streets. Because, see, he's calling Maro that, oh, this man is trying to contact me. He's clever. He doesn't want to get in the game. He's been trying to avoid cameras because he knows the drama that Maro usually comes with. Maro is not easy to deal with. Everything he touches, it freezes. If he touches something, it freezes. Drama all over the place. 
This is the only person that decided no. No drama at my place. No cameras around my face. And now again, Ivan is coming again to bring more drama, to add drama on the drama that has been avoided. Africans fighting Africans. Maro is saying that it's, it's because they're not exposed. Is Ivan not exposed? Guys, I leave this one to you. Let's meet in the comment section, my keyboard reactors. Hey, so guys, I said that you rate me out of 10. What do you think? Eh? The queen of the streets. <laughs> Let's talk about these issues that have been brought on this table. Let's agree. Let's disagree. Let's learn from them. Let's expose them. Let's criticize. Let's analyze. I mean, why not? This is the space. YouTube has allowed us to do this, right? Leave your comments down below. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. But let's meet on the next one.